I like to talk about wet shaving because I think it's really cool. I think you're really cool for watching this video. So I appreciate it. I got some cool stuff from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Soap, aftershave, ice cube, not like from Friday. And a safety razor, pretty tight. The soap is called Grove. So far, the only knock I have on this thing is that uh, the letters on the label are down here. So when you're taking your, your photo of the day picture, I like to put my, my safety razor in front of the soap container and um, that, that's not working because it blocks the letters. He didn't design the label for me specifically, but constructive criticism, if you move the letters, That'd be pretty tight. Anyways, that's the only bad thing I have to say about the soap so far, because it's awesome, it's slick. It's not the CK6 formula. It's their uh, original formulas, how Douglas said it. Uh, oak wood, cranberry, currant, which is like gooseberries, I guess, and moss, cool beans. Got the matching aftershave. This stuff lasts all day in a good way. It smells really, really good, okay? Feels good on the face too. Very smooth finish. A lot of that has to do with the soap and the aftershave working synergetically. And it does. I got the ice cube. Okay, mentioned that before. It's a highly mentholated pre-shave soap. Gets the gets the hairs all tingly and makes you feel pretty chill. Something I found out using that pre and using snake bite post whoa you got yourself the coolest shave on the planet the coolest shave on the planet ever because mentholated 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 chill 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 tight very cool stuff the soap is very easy to lather a little goes a very long way so i shaved two passes and i have so much soap left today. Look at that. Crazy, right? So I need to get better at knowing how many, how many little twists of the turn with the brush to get that. Uh, I got the filament. It is a uh, plastic fake light series uh, safety razor. It's double slant. I'm gonna do a full review on it. I'm still trying to figure it out. One thing I've noticed almost immediately is the, the double slants kind of like in between a shave vet and a double edge safety razor to me because it's it's a little bit more efficient or aggressive than a double edge safety razor because uh, it kind of it slices through the hair as opposed to cuts them. Using the mentholated soap pre makes my face numb so I don't really feel what's going on in my face. I'm not really used to using this razor as of today. Uh, still figuring out got really close shaves on it but also got a little irritation and I think that's more on me than on the razor so I'm gonna stick with it for a couple more maybe a week without using the pre-shave soap just to get a really good comforting shave uh, the box is pretty cool open comb slant double edge safety razor filament and elegant so it's based off of the phasing ghost is what it was called it was Bakelite uh, interesting thing about Bakelite, it's fireproof and there's no, you can't like melt it and then remold it. But this is ABC plastic, it's probably a more cost effective way to make the razor. It's only 14 grams, that's pretty cool. The box for the cube is pretty neat too. Anyways, soap, aftershave, having a blast. The cube, pre-shave, having a blast. So far the double slant has got me uh, kind of scratching the head, but I'll figure it out and I'll report back to you with how I actually like it. I appreciate you watching. Uh, have you used like a slant razor? I, I know there's like a ton of them out there, but what's your favorite one? Maybe I can start working with those too. If you like wet shaving videos and want to see what I have to say about this slant, go ahead and subscribe. Tip of the hat to you and goodbye. Goodbye.